Hello and welcome to another episode of Mama's Gone Wild. I'm Nikki Woods. And I'm Mary Boyce. And today we are going to walk the dangerous line of discussing sex with your ex. (laughs) (laughs) And we have Felicia Johnson, who is a marketing and advertising expert and also mother of two young children. And Dr. Uh, Luana Gladney, who is a motivational speaker and author of a book about motivating children. (laughs) She is also the mother of how many? Four. I love it when she says that. Four. Four. (laughs) The mother of, she's like our, our mothering expert here. So let, let's talk about this. And, and we, we talked a little bit about this off camera, and I'll just share this with you. But obviously, Dr. Gladney has some professional experience that we want to tap into. But we also want to get the, the personal side of this. So the let's wild start with side. you. The, the, the wild the side. The wild the side. Wild. Yeah. Let, <laughs> sex with your ex. I mean, we, all have, we all have exes, some of them ex-husbands, some of them ex-boyfriends. What, what do you think, what is your personal opinion on having sex with your ex? Well, personally, I think that if they are really an ex and you're really done with them, then you're done. And so the emotional, the physical, all those ties, obviously it's harder to break the emotional ties right. because, you know, you just have to work through some things. But physically, if you're going to keep that going on, then the emotional will never stop. So you have to say, are you really an ex? You know, if you're going to continue to be intimate with them. Mm-hmm. So personally, that's that's that. And that really goes on a professional level as well. I mean, I know it's easier said than done right, right. <laughs> because then sometimes really in relationships that can be really the center. And that's what keeps people going. And so that's can be the what is really harder to break for them. And that was going to be my point. I think a lot of times, especially as women, one way we try to hold on to the relationship is giving them what is easy to give and what they're they're ready to take and that's that's sex and what they're used to and what they're used to and what you're used to and comfortable with probably the familiarity of it right right. absolutely (laughs) go ahead man we'll put the disclaimer out for Mary now she's not speaking from personal experience I haven't had an ex in a very long time but I feel that I mean I can see why why it's easy to do I mean I've had friends that have been in relationships and there's somebody that they're they're just so close to and and used to and it just seems like it's an easy thing sometimes yes habit Mm -hmm. yeah so when when do you think felicia that there is a point where you just know that it's over i mean i think that that's hard to especially the way that living situations are now i mean i know like my ex and i we lived together in the same house you know for a long time after we were actually divorced Mm -hmm. so when you're in that situation i'm not saying that (laughs) but when you're in that situation i mean there's so much you know there's a close proximity and it's hard to establish boundaries as to whether it's really done or it's not well for me um i guess the hard part is my divorce is very very recent the finality not even 60 days so exactly so um, and it was a long process, and it was something that, you know, I didn't necessarily want to do. So the emotion is still there, mm-hmm. but what, and, and so t- for me, in order to break that tie, I know it's not no returning back to the, the dark side or the wild <laughs> side. It's just moving on because I don't think that it would be good for us emotionally, particularly, you know, women, we get tied up mm-hmm. and so okay, on and exactly. so forth. So And I imagine this is... It's tricky for the children, too, because if, if you are in that kind of relationship, I, I don't know what message that sends your kids if you're, if you're back still and forth. back and forth. Well, back I, I had a recent experience. My ex, ex-husband um, lives in Connecticut, mm-hmm. where, we're, where, you know, where, we, where, we, where we were, and um, moving here, and we recently got together to see the children. Mm-hmm. And it was, for me, it was a lot of emotion involved because it was like old times. Uh-huh. It was, yeah. we had, I mean, we had very young children, yeah. so mm-hmm. we were, the, the children were, we played, it was like playing right. family, so yeah. I can't even imagine, and we had two separate hotel rooms, and that worked. And mm-hmm. on one end, I think it was good for the children, but mm-hmm. I didn't want to pair up and in just in the physical or the real physical right and confuse the children because it was right. confusing enough for me right, right. so and if it know. were a movie like in movies like it's <laughs> like you always root for that just it's, like a movie yeah, it's like you want like the exes movie. to always get together right yeah but and, it's very messy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very messy especially and, and because it's so new for you i mean you probably yeah. haven't experienced this yet but especially if you're ready to move on into new relationships 
Um, you know, my ex and I were really, really good friends. We have a great relationship, and I think that we're really good co-parents. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we don't, you know, hang out by ourselves, or we don't do any of that. But I think we work really well together. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes that can be confusing <laughs> to new it people. Me <laughs> I know <laughs> it, it can be confusing to new people that come into the situation because mm -hmm. they're like, kind of like, okay, you know, know they're so because they always have that hope. They, they have cute. that hope. But then, I, yeah. but, the, but, uh, but then again, I see how easy it can be that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just old hat. You get back in the swing of things. You know what to do or, you know, mm -hmm. you, you know what the expectations are, so on and so forth. You That's know the opposed, buttons to push. Exactly, yeah. exactly. But, you know, Nikki, when you ask the question, how do you know when you're really done? I think that it gets to a point And if you do decide, oh, we're going to see if we're done, you can find that out because on the emotional and physical level, your body doesn't react the same. And neither your mind. So mm -hmm. you know, you know what? We I don't even feel like that anymore. And you don't either. So it then it becomes that right. you know. I think that's when you really know that you're done. And well, there's you really no know motive. That they're done because I think that for women it takes us a lot longer to be done in most cases because you're that men. emotional. And yeah, you, you may want to try to pull them back in, but when you see what their reaction is, like they treat you like the side piece <laughs> or like the one night stand, you know, until yes. you go back yeah. to your own house. Yes. Then you can see when, when they're really done and it might be easier. And then I asked this question because some people will say that. Does this speak to like the low self-esteem of women when they want to keep pulling them back in instead of... I you wouldn't know. say lo low self-esteem. Mm -mm. I would say sometimes it may be because I've actually thought about it as opposed to acting on it. I think you just want to see if you might still have that power. You still mm. Yeah. To see, mm. you know, yeah, what strings absolutely. you can pull. Mm -hmm. I, and I think it's a part of the emotional healing process as well. Because then for a woman, if they do respond to you like that, then we can cut. We have the ability to cut. Okay, well, you know what? I'm not putting myself in that position. They're done. They clearly let me know that. Well, the low self-esteem would come in if they let you know that and you're still trying to pull at yes, them. Because we know it's true because yes. we've seen Jerry we've seen. and Oprah and yes, Dr. Absolutely. We know that absolutely. It's, it's a part of it, but you're saying if you can make that clear decision that it's really time for okay, you to Okay, what on. if you do it to get to get <laughs> <laughs> See, I can just throw Oh, no, back. come on, come on. <laughs> if you do it to get to get back at, like, if, if, it, if there was infidelity or something and you do it to spite the person that they're with. I know that happens. Oh, absolutely. Ladies. So yes, you're saying you, you get back and have <laughs> sex with your ex because you want to get back at the person that right. they're with. But see, that becomes a game and that becomes mm -hmm. really dangerous because then you're putting yourself, and this is what I always say to I'm women. Say, have you seen Snap lately? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're putting yourself <laughs> in, in a space uh -huh. where emotionally you're not going to be able to manage that and you Absolutely. can't handle that because everything gets down to the motive of why you're doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And so if your motive is, is purely revenge driven and all that, it really doesn't have anything to do with him either. Mm -hmm. It has to do with this outside person. Mm -hmm. Then of course it just becomes, it becomes chaos. And, and, I think it, and it's probably it's more detrimental to you than it Absolutely. is to anybody, to anybody else. else. It's so. more right. detrimental. Not just yeah. right. it's more so detrimental. final thoughts, any advice um, to ladies that might be contemplating this or or, or considering it or being in this situation? Yeah, absolutely. I would say you, you really have to understand how to manage your emotions. Look at the motive of why you're doing it. But mainly the the main thing is understanding yourself and, and asking yourself the questions. If you want to do this, you have to plan this out. You ask yourself the questions. Is this going to be worth it? What message am I trying to get to him? What message am I trying to have for myself? And you really have to take that in and, and look. And it, it's all about you and say, is this going to put me in a better or worse place? Really yeah, I remember when I was like 60 days out and I was just, I would sit there and be like, okay, five minutes. <laughs> I would give myself five uh, minutes to think this through. Mm -hmm. think Absolutely. About what that's could good. happen instead yeah. of that's just good. doing And I think that's, that's, that's the key yeah. because I think you have to decide where you are with it if it is final because for us, I think the procedure is final but you Go, it goes beyond that with the emotion and mm -hmm. where are you with the emotion and like you said, what's going to happen after mm -hmm. the five minutes. So you're giving yourself <laughs> five minutes, but then after those five minutes of the act, then what's going to happen next? Play how are you going to feel movie. and yeah. so on yeah. and so forth? And how can you move forward if it is indeed final mm -hmm. or if you want to move to the stage where your emotions are you know, done with it? Right. All right, Mary. I'm no, good. You're good? <laughs> No but we'll see how good you are when we're looking for the little black dress. Holidays are on the way, but we still have time to find the perfect little black dress. So Kimberly Turner, our fashion expert, is here with some advice on how to pick one out. 
Hi, I'm Kim, and welcome to Fashion Sense. The little black dress is really important for you this holiday season because you'll want to make sure you don't miss out on any holiday festivities by having to go home and change after work. So I have three tips for you on how to take your little black day dress into the night. One, make sure you choose the right little black dress, even if you have to pair it with a blazer, because you can wear the blazer to work and then take it off for a great after five look. Two, make sure you grab the right accessories for your evening look. Three, don't forget shoes. You won't want to wear those work pumps to your holiday event. Now you're ready to take that day dress into the night. But before you head out for your festivities, make sure you friend me up on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and leave me a comment on the blog. Make sense? Black is such a classic color. I love it. And even better in the form of a little dress. I know. You can <laughs> pretend like you're in the In Vogue video. Or maybe it's just me. Or you could just wear it to a holiday party and be <laughs> done with it. Thank you, Kimberly. You always have such phenomenal fashion uh, advice. So now that the weather's getting a little bit cooler, we're going to talk about things to eat when it's cold outside. Chili? And if you want to be able to fit into the little black dress, it's light chili. So you just... You know, beans are so good for you, especially black beans. But it, so you get a variety of beans, black beans, um, kidney beans, <laughs> red beans. The poem keeps going through my head. The beans, get beans. Get that out of your sorry. head. Okay. You have little boys, you can tell. Okay. Add corn, ground beef, or ground turkey, if you like that. Just open up a package of taco sauce and sprinkle that in there mm -hmm. for the seasoning. Heat it up. That's it. Oh, All and right. rotel sauce. It, and that's better than the salsa. You can get that at, at your grocery store. Just heat it up. It's it's low calorie. Mm -hmm. and, you, and rinse the beans, I'm sorry, even if they're in the can. Rinse them before you put it in there. I don't even know why you do that, but that's what they say. I think it's healthier because <laughs> I think it's less sodium that way. Anyway, it's delicious. It really is. Okay, so beans, rotel tomatoes, salsa. Yep. Corn. Turkey. If you, if you, ground turkey if you or ground beef. Way. Yeah. And taco season. And taco season. Mix it all together. Yep. Quick, yep. easy, healthy chili. Delicious. You can email <laughs> us <laughs> quick and easy healthy recipes or tips, or you can ask us questions. Our email address is mama's gone wild at gmail.com. I'm Nikki. I'm Mary. And we are Mama's Gone Wild. And we thank you for joining us for another edition of Mama's Gone Wild on blackamericaweb.com. Stay wild.